Hi, my name is Liz Boutelier. I'm head of inside sales at Franklin Templeton Canada, and joining me today is Stephen Lingard, SVP and portfolio manager of our multi asset solutions program. Thank you, Stephen, for joining us. Thank you. Um, so let's start with an overview of 2017. Uh, what were some of the investment highlights that you saw this past year? It was a good year overall for investors. We saw positive returns across all asset classes, uh, including equities, fixed income, and commodities. Uh, equities really did best, though, with global equities up in Canadian dollar terms, 16%. So it was a very strong year for investors. This was enabled by a synchronized global economic recovery that pushed up corporate profits. Uh, it prompted the Fed and central banks around the world uh, to begin to take back some of the monetary combination because we saw stabilization and in inflation. So while overall it was a good year for corporate profits, uh, volatility remained low, which supported valuations, making it a good year overall for equity investors. And how did these investment highlights translate into performance? The portfolios performed well, uh, the multi-asset multi portfolio range that we have here at Franklin. Um, it was uh, led by our equity overweights. Equities, again, were one of the best asset classes last year. Uh, we had good overweights to international equities, in particular emerging markets, which uh, uh, did exceedingly well last year. Uh, we were also underweighted in government bonds, uh, which lagged, and, and fixed income overall uh, as interest rates began to move up. On the flip side, we had a bit of weakness in relative terms uh, in, in not hedging back a lot of our, our foreign exchange. Uh, so we did have a little bit lower um, Canadian dollar weights than, than maybe some of our competition. Uh, we, also had, um, we also saw some, some of the underlying equity strategies struggle to keep up with benchmarks because of high correlations. Uh, on the flip side, though, we had some, some pretty good selection within fixed income. So it was a good year overall. 